Okay, so I've rebooted the PTZ into smart event mode. So you can see road traffic has now disappeared. So for those of you that um, watched last week's video or continue to watch this one, um, the road traffic is a functionality that allows the AMPR inside the product, um, but it does reduce the capability of the uh, VCA smart tracking, uh, line cross intrusion, etc. are all gone. So we've selected smart event, the camera's rebooted, and you can see road traffic has now disappeared. What you will see now under the PTZ submenu is smart tracking now appears. So there's two modes this PTZ can actually operate in. So I can actually enable smart track mode. The duration is up to 300 seconds and I can set the zoom ratio. So I can leave it quite zoomed in and then say, when you're tracking an object, I want you to maintain that kind of zoom ratio and click set zoom and then click save. The problem with this is, or I can do it fully zoomed out. So I can say, I want a fully zoomed out image so you get a nice overall um, indication of the scene like that. Let's say that very wide scene. Set zoom ratio, click save. So depending on if you want the wider scene or you want a more focused, detailed um, analysis of the object is tracking, then you can actually select uh, the zoom ratio accordingly plus the time it will track. So a couple of things to note here. You can see with smart tracking enabled, it's now going to try to track anything in its field of view. So if you have a park position, so if I have this as preset one and click save. I always do it a couple of times just to make sure. Now with this smart tracking enabled, anything the camera detects in the scene here, it will try to track. And you can see the green um, up, uh, borderline around the product there that then enabled the uh, engine to try to track it and it moved too quickly out of the scene. The, the only issue with the smart tracking in this instance um, is it will try to track anything. You're not using the VCA to actually activate it. So uh, objects out of the field of view as in like outside my compound um, could initiate the smart tracking. We're not using the VCA line cross or intrusion to initiate the smart tracking which is my preferred method to reduce the false alarm capability. Now, another thing we get asked all the time is, can you have smart tracking during a preset tour? The short answer is yes, you can. Smart tracking is a lower priority than the preset tour. So if you do a preset tour, so the camera goes between preset to preset to preset, and you have a 30 second delay between the presets. Technically, if movement is detected in that scene um, using the smart track and then yes the camera will start to smart track the object but what will happen then is the timer will be reached for the next preset action which will then move forward to the next preset and currently we don't have a way to prioritize that so things like alarm inputs schedule tasks park time um, preset tours etc do override the smart tracking um, currently uh, so, so be very mindful that technically, yes, it's possible, but in reality, it doesn't work. Again, with alarm input trigger, an alarm input, say a red wall that's connected to the PTZ, drives the PTZ to a preset scene like this, for instance. An object is detected in this area. It tries to smart track it. Then the PIR is activated again by the nature of the object walking around, which then drives the preset back to its alarm preset position and then loses the tracking. So you have to be very mindful that, yes, it's technically possible. Does it work in reality? Not really. Um, that's why I always recommend the VCA smart track. Um, in my opinion, it's much more flexible, much more robust, uh, and gives a better output. When you start using smart tracking in this default method, uh, even though it's very intelligent with the version free smart track engine, it will track objects that are outside of your uh, jurisdiction or where you ideally want to track that um, and then obviously in the which is not ideal but then it you know you can find that things that wouldn't trigger the VCA would then trigger the smart tracking so you can have it flying off in all sorts of directions so just a point that I really want to emphasize and drive home to you guys are uh, technically possible for the patrol and smart track 
not really recommend it in a real life application. But again, if you choose to do that, then it's it's entirely up to you. So again, with the park action, so I'm going to set the zoom ratio a little bit in actually because I want it about there. Set zoom ratio, and then I'm going to click save. So I'm going to turn off enable smart tracking on this default mode and click save because I actually want it to work. Um, on the VCA trigger. What I will do is set the preset now. Oh, I should have already set it. So drive it back to his home preset, which is there. Looking at our compound, and then I will set up a VCA trigger. So go to event. You can see now. Wait for it to catch up. Under smart event, all of these nice options have now become available again. So what we will do is go into intrusion detection. You can have up to, wait for it to catch up, up to four regions of intrusion detection. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually tilt that down a bit. That's looking a bit too high for my liking. Oh, too much. The joys of Internet Explorer. About there. Save that as the uh, preset. I'm going to now, first before I move on, I'm going to put the park action to 60 seconds and to preset one, but you can adjust that accordingly to what you want it to do. So regardless of the smart tracking setting there of 300 seconds, my park action will override that. So it only track an object for a maximum of 60 seconds before it then returns to its uh, preset park position of preset one. So under the event, smart event, Intrusion detection, we're going to enable intrusion detection. I'm going to draw my detection area. So we're going to say anywhere within this compound. I say about there, click save. And again, you can use line cross or a combination of both. That's no problem. So I want to detect human or vehicles and click save. Now, the threshold time zero is as soon as an object enters the area. Um, basically, the alarm is valid if it's a human or vehicle. Or you can put a threshold time in there up to 10 seconds. So a vehicle or an object in this instance, because both are selected, need to enter this area be there for 10 or more seconds before the alarm is generated and then the linkage action could be, you know, trigger an output, send a notification, but also smart tracking. So for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to leave that as zero so we don't have to take too long to trigger the area. And the sensitivity is 50% by default. You can adjust that up or down depending if you do see any false alarms. Now, because, it, you know, this is a high-end product. The VCA engine is, you know, relatively stable and good. Um, but again, you can adjust whether you want the threshold timer sensitivity and also maximum and minimum object sizes. So, for instance, that's a, a large van in the purpose of this scene. So I could say maximum size I want is up to, the, you know, slightly larger than that. Um, so then you're not getting the uh, false triggers. Minimum size could be, let's say that size there so like you're not going to get you know or reducing the chance of like birds or foliage etc uh, setting that off so i'm going to click save on that now save seeded i'm in schedule default 24 7 for testing purposes now linkage method i can now do smart tracking as a linkage method and click save and again, I can actually, you know, send any other notify surveillance center, send email, upload FTP, etc. So we've set that detection area. Now under local, I'm just going to make sure the rules are enabled, which they are. I'm going to go to live view. Right, so I'm going to go and walk around in this area now. So you should see the blue box turn to red um, as I'm walking around. So I'm just going to get my phone out. Get the device up ready on Height Connect so I can actually see the PTZ moving. And then I'll move around. It can track me till the maximum time. And then um, I'll come back in and then we'll uh, talk a little bit more. So I'm just going to leave that up there quickly. Just go to my recorder. Make sure I've got that PTZ here. I do. Okay. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Let's see how well that tracks. Okay, so you saw that track in me there. Um, that was, uh, you know, effective enough. Uh, yes, I do have a bad back at the minute. And apologies for the very weird walk I've had to adopt to overcome that. Um, again, you can adjust this as much as you want. So intrusion, line crossing, etc. What you can do, if you didn't feel that was enough on the zoom ratio, you can go into configuration. Go to PTZ. Smart tracking. Set the zoom ratio further, further in. Let's say I want to get a real close up of the object. That's a bit too much. <laughs> Let's say that. Set zoom ratio. Say you succeeded. Preset one. So you get to see the desired effect effectively. Um, I'll just go and walk that now, just so the zoom ratio on that. Hang on a second, two seconds. Okay, I just started and stopped the video just so any, uh, no, just. Um, stops the video being too long in segments. So, okay. Okay, so you can see that when it loses the target, um, it'll just return to its preset position to try and track again. Um, but the zoom ratio was much more enhanced that time. And again, to give you another look, if we increase it even further, Okay, so I'll just go and quickly walk out there now and see if that's, uh, you can see the impact. Okay, and that's the zoomed in zoom ratio. So you can see the difference it makes there and how that could impact on your um, application or settings. 
That's the suggested way to do it. Line crossing and choosing the driver smart tracking. And then you can either do it for the 300 seconds or you can put a park preset, etc. in there. Don't forget the way the patrol preset schedule task will then override the smart tracking, same with alarm input. So you have to be very mindful of how you build this in as an offering. But, you know, you've got a good oversight now. Hopefully you will, um, I'm out of breath now, hopefully that gives you a great understanding of how this product can be deployed and how you can actually use it. The one thing I sort of noticed on this, and again, uh, I'll feed this back to HQ, is when you when the tracking loses a target, it used to hang there previously on older versions. It used to hang and hunt um, to try and find the object, which now it says, I've lost the object, go back um, to the preset position and try and track again. Um, I'll try and have it uh, added as a continual track function where it will try to go past that object but again some people don't want that they want this function some people don't so i'll see if i can have that as an optional function thank you for watching any questions ask dvs at dvs.co.uk or contact your very professional and uh, friendly dvs sales staff we do have these products in stock now the 8 megapixel is just a fantastic image as you can see there it's got all of the other standard hike vision functionality um, and i'll do another video on person and vehicle arming as a separate thing this tracking also applies to vehicles as well you just have to tick vehicle or human analysis um, depending on what you're trying to do hopefully this really helps stay tuned stay safe and we'll see you for another how-to video very very soon thank you